let's go book shopping. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel in a new video. Today's video is going to be so freaking exciting as you've seen by the title I am going book shopping and I'm so excited to take you guys along with me. I'm taking the train to the city that's about two hours away and have a full day there with my mom kind of shopping, eating some good food, just having a great and cozy day I guess and they have this really really cool bookstore there that I love and it's been a few years since I've been there because of everything that's been going on in the world but I'm so excited to be back there it's this amazingly cool bookstore and uh, I'm hoping to find some really cool books that I'm very excited about and yeah I hope you guys will enjoy this video and I will do a haul in the end of the books that I got if I end up getting books which I'm pretty sure I will I, I mean let's be honest here uh but yeah let's go book shopping of The Shining which I want but I wanted in hardback and they didn't have that so then I found this really cool copy of Dune in Swedish but I didn't want it in Swedish so I found my bae The Return love it love it so so much and some other really cool horror books that looked really really cool of course some Stephen King I have Billy Summers but I haven't read it yet I found my best friend's exorcism of course I needed that one Grady Hendrix yes this one looked so, so cool. I've seen it around on Instagram. I've been wanting to read this series, but I haven't gotten to it. And I don't know why. I just, it sounds so cool. And I don't know, fantastical. It has some great horror pics. Um, literally could have been in this store for hours. I roamed around a little. Found so many books that looked interesting. But I was also really hesitant because, I don't know. Will I like it? Will I not? You know, it's not easy. <laughs> I found this copy of It, which I didn't love this cover. I like the cover that I have more with the clown on it. And then I found this ugly cover of Under the Dome. Look at that. It was not pretty. I'm so glad I have another cover because I love Under the Dome. There's me roaming around at the fantasy section. They had some really, really cool pics. I was just in awe. I was just walking around there being amazed, basically. Um, here's me <laughs> showing off what I found. So happy. Yes, yes. And yeah, I was just having a great time, honestly. <laughs> this really really cool copy of a few books that Stephen King collected into one. It was so beautiful. I wanted to have it but I didn't end up getting it. This one I've been eyeing. It sounded really cool and I love the cover. It's written by the same guy that wrote The Perks of Being a Wallflower and it was blurred by Emma Watson. I mean what? 
This one I've been wanting, Different Seasons by Stephen King. Didn't end up getting it though, which I'm sad about, but it sounded really cool and I want to read all of his books, so. Then I found this one, both the regular one and this beautiful collector's edition I think it is, and it was gorgeous, but really expensive. And I've been hesitant about reading this, I'm scared, it's so hyped up, I'm not gonna like it. I found this beauty, I mean look at those colors and the edges, mmm. I love the bluish color and the water and the moon, the ocean, the flowers, everything. Mary Lou, I really enjoyed her other series, but I haven't read that one. A Court of Civil Flames, love it, of course. Other books that I haven't heard of, I hadn't heard any of these, honestly, I don't know. This one I've been hearing about a lot. I think it's a middle grade and it just sounds really cute, but I did not end up getting it, unfortunately. I just haven't been in the mood for middle grade. Love me some Skyward and Star Scythe, and I actually really love these covers. I have the other covers, but these ones are really cool. Here's just me roaming around again, looking and reading at the back of the books, just having the best time of my life, basically. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I... Oh, I found you! That's right, this was an ugly cover. I don't like movie covers or TV show covers, but that was the only one I could find. And I'm not a big fan of the show, so I do not want to read the books. Have you read the books? Please let me know. This one I've been hearing a lot of books, I'm hearing a lot of good things about. And then this beauty again. I was just amazed. And my bae, of course, The Return. And it. Love it. Can't wait to reread it this Halloween, honestly. It's so good. <laughs> But yeah, I was so happy at this bookstore, it was so amazing, and the staff is just really nice, I had a great time. Some other horror books, Mexican Gothic, I've heard great things about, haven't read it though, because I'm scared. After reading like one bad review, I don't want to read it, I don't know. <laughs> it's bad. Um, this one looked really cool, didn't end up getting it though. But there were so many books I could have bought in there, like if I wouldn't have stopped myself, like I could have been here for hours. This one I saw on their webpage and I was really intrigued and it just sounded really, really cool. I don't know what it was about it. I just mm, looked perfect. And they had some Funko Pops, not anyone that I was interested in though, but they had some really cool ones, so love that. I haven't watched Doctor Who, but I want to. I just can't find it on any streaming site that I have. But look at this cool box. So cool. <laughs> a lot of Stranger Things. Yes, yes. A lot of merch. Love it. Really, really cool. A cool store. Please, like, just, I think you have all. Okay, so it's time for the book haul portion of this video. So the bookstore that I went to, that's two hours away from me, that it's like the closest big bookstore that has a lot of great books. It is a bookstore that focuses on fantasy, science fiction, thriller, and horror. They do also have like a lot of manga and merch, um, a lot of cool stuff like that. They do not have any romance and barely any contemporary so it definitely focuses more on these type of genres which is really cool and perfect because that's what what i've been in the mood for lately but um, yeah so all these books that i bought and i'm going to show you are either fantasy thriller or horror so yeah i got six books and i'm so excited about all of them the first book I got is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff, of course. This has been on my TBR and wishlist forever. I just haven't bought it, I don't know why, but as soon as I saw it, of course, I needed to add it in my cart. Unfortunately, they didn't have the hardcover, but I bought this really cool big paperback, and I'm honestly really satisfied with it, no problem. But of course, it's anything with vampires in the title, you've sold me. Like, I'm gonna buy it, no questions asked. And also this has some great reviews. I've heard so many people talk about this highly and I'm so excited to read it and delve into a world of vampires and just, you know, it's gonna be a good one, I think. The next book I bought is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. This has also been on my TBR wishlist forever. And I read Grady Hendrix, what's that book called? Final Girl Support Group, and I didn't love it. I did enjoy it, but I didn't love it. But this, of course, I'm gonna still read it. I've heard great things about it. I also wanna pick up his other books, like Horster, and I'm sure there's many out there that I wanna buy. But I was so surprised when I found this there because before I went into the store, I browsed around on their website, kind of getting a glimpse of what I wanted to buy. And this one was on the website, but it said it wasn't in stock at the store that I was at. But I found one little copy hidden away, so of course I bought it immediately because I was so afraid that someone would grab it before me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited to have this in my hands. Look at how cool the cover is. It looks like so old-fashioned. I don't know, 80s. I just love it. I'm so excited. The next book I got had 
I've also been eyeing on the website and I found it there and that is the Book of Accents by Chuck Wendig. I have seen this one around on Instagram but I haven't really heard anyone talk about it and I don't know really what it's about to be completely honest. But at the bookstore I was reading the back and I was like looking at it, thinking about it and I did end up getting it because it sounded really really cool and creepy and scary and you know I've been on a thriller kick lately. I've been in the mood for a thriller which is weird because now spring is coming up and usually I want to read lighter books which I still want to do but I've just been enjoying these dark books so much lately and I'm really excited about this one. The next book I got was Mermaid Moon by Susan Kogal. This has also been on my TBR for a little while but I must say I have, I have been hesitant so when I saw it there I was like should I get it should I not I put it down then I grabbed it again but you know what sold me you know what actually sold me <laughs> boom I did not know that it had sprayed edges because this was purely a book that I've seen online and been fascinated about the cover and obviously like the mermaid thing and it sounded so, so cool. But what honestly sold me is definitely this. I did not expect that. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, hell yeah, you're going home with me tonight. <laughs> so I got this one and I'm really excited to read it. It seems one, like one of those really fantastical fantasy books about mermaid. That's so cool. The next book I got was Imaginary Friend by Stephen Shabosky. This is the same author that wrote The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which I didn't know until now when I read it here. I didn't see that at the bookstore. <laughs> and also what's really cool about this that Emma Watson freaking blurbed it. Of course I'm gonna buy it. But this was also a book that I've been eyeing on their web page and I've been interested in it. When I picked it up, I was so surprised because I didn't expect it to be this big. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know why I had this picture of it that's gonna be a short book, but it definitely wasn't. But this one sounded really, really cool. Thriller book and I've been on a kick of thriller lately, as I've said, so this one definitely needed to get home with me. And the last book I got, I was so happy when I saw it because I've been eyeing it like no i've been wanting to buy it just because i love the rest of the series and this is the newest one in the series but on the website it said it was out of stock so i was really sad about that but i found one copy hidden away again of court by tracy wolf in freaking hardback i would have been so sad if i had just found it in paperback because the rest of the series i own is in hardback and i cannot switch that up that would make me crazy so i'm so glad i found this in hardback this is the fourth and latest book in the grave series where we follow you know grace and her adventures and all these fantastical creatures at this boarding school love triangle thing i would say it's kind of like a, a twilight version but it's more it's younger it's more whimsical it's more dramatic i don't know <laughs> But I loved it and I'm so excited to finally have this in my hands. There's a fifth book and sixth book coming out in the future. So of course I need to catch up because this one has been out for quite a while. I just haven't got it um, until now. I'm very happy about it. But yeah, those were all the books that I got. I did do some more shopping and got some other stuff. This shirt, among other things, and these sweatpants. <laughs> But yeah, I had a great day with my mom in this city, just roaming around, having a good time. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoy my first ever Kim Book Shopping With Me video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye!